What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys the best center build in NBA 2K21 next gen. So if you do want to make this player for the park, you actually do want to make it a power forward because even though you will still be playing center, you'll get a lot better badges as a power forward. For the height, you want to move it up to 7 feet. For the wingspan, you want to max it out at 710. And then for the weight, you want to put it up until your strength hits 95, so just put it to 259 pounds. For the finishing badges, you guys want to max your close shot, max your driving dunk, and at 97 overall, you actually get driving contact dunks on this build, which is insane. Max your standing dunk, and then put your post control to 82, just so you can get post spin technician hall of fame. For the shooting, you actually don't want to touch it. This is going to be a big man that can't shoot. If you guys want to see a big that can shoot, make sure to click the card in the top right. For the defense, you want to max your interior defense, max your block, max your offensive and defensive rebounding so you get 27 badges. Then you want to max all your physicals so you're not super slow on this build. Because it is 7 foot and not 7 foot 3, it is a little bit faster. And then with the remaining attribute points, I would put up your pass accuracy. If you guys want to put your pass accuracy a little bit higher, you can lower your close shot by one and you can also lower your offensive rebound by one without losing any badges and then just put the rest back to pass accuracy and once you do hit 97 overall and get those driving contact dunks i think you keep them if you drop back below 97 but i'm not 100 percent sure if we take a look at the name of the build it is actually called a pain beast and i think this is the best inside big man build in nba 2k21 next gen if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'm out peace